I am very proud to present to you for induction into the Ohio State University Athletics Hall of Fame, Ray Griffin. Jeff is also, was, uh, Jeff and I were co-captains together also in the 77 season, so it's an honor to have Jeff announce me uh, to the podium this evening. Uh, first of all, I want to thank you all for being here this evening. And I want to tell you, growing up in Columbus, the first time I attended an Ohio State football game was in 1968. And I tell you, I was, 11, I was an 11 year old kid and I was in awe of the 73,000 fans that filled the portion of that afternoon. But as I was watching that game, I could never imagine that one day that I would not only play for the Buckeyes, but I would also be a member of the same Hall of Fame that some of those great players that I was watching that evening are a member of. Jack Taylor, Rex Kearns, Jim Oates, all those guys are inducted into the, or were inducted into the Ohio State Athletic Hall of Fame. And tonight, I join them. And I tell you, guys, it is a tremendous, tremendous honor. And I am truly, truly, truly blessed to be here this evening and being inducted with this 2012 class of inductees. And for that, I would like to thank the varsity owner and the varsity owner board members who voted for me. I truly thank you. But you know what, one thing about this honor? I'll be honest with you, I cannot accept this honor on my own. There's a guy here this evening that flew in from Las Vegas, Nevada, and he was my defensive backfield coach, Dick Walker. And I tell you something, if it wasn't for Coach Dick Walker, I wouldn't be here today. And let me quickly tell you why. You see, when I was recruited by Coach Hayes as a senior in high school, I've always been a running back all of my life. But because my brother Archie was already here, the starting running back, I didn't think that uh, I was a good fit for Ohio State. So Woody, when he came over to talk to me, he talked to me about playing wing back. So I said, wow, that would be great. I will have an opportunity to play in the backfield along with my brother Arch. But you know what? After coming to Ohio State, my freshman year, end of my freshman year, I found that uh, I was a number two tailback behind Arch. <laughs> That's not what I wanted. <laughs> I wanted to play with them. So, we had a great season in 1974. Going to the Rose Bowl, we had a heartbreaking loss against USC, 17-18. And after that game, Coach Dick Walker came to me. And Coach Dick Walker said, Ray, how would you like to play free safety for me? I looked at him in amazement. And I said, Coach, I've never played on the defensive side of the ball. I've never played defensive back before. He says, Ray, I watch you play on special teams, and I tell you what, I think that you can fill that spot very well. He says, look, Arch's got another year. And not only that, Arch has just won a high school trophy. <laughs> he says, Rich Parsons, who was our free safety at the time, he says, Rich is graduating, he's a graduating senior. And uh, he said, I tell you what, Ray, if you come and play for me, I will start you with the number one group this spring, and I will teach you everything you need to know. You know, I didn't want to sit on the bench another year behind ours. I saw that as a great opportunity, and Coach Walker seemed very sincere, and I told him, yes, I'll do it. And that spring, he worked with me. And you know, I started the opening season at the NBS Michigan State, and Coach Walker did everything that he promised that he would do for me. And tonight I'm standing in front of you being inducted into the Ohio State University Athletic Hall of Fame. Coach Walker, I can now tell you, Coach, you did a damn good job. Thank you very much. I 
I would also like to thank my family for all the support that they've given me throughout my playing days in my career. You know, sometimes it's very tough being in a family of seven brothers, one after every one, two years apart, very competitive. You know, and one of the thing about that is that my brothers, because I never really liked school, those guys motivated me to graduate from college. And I thank God that they did today. Because I tell you, if I didn't have them guys motivating me and setting the examples for me, it would never happen. It just would never happen. But I thank them for that. And the only thing that uh, I regret tonight is the fact that, you know, my mom is not here. We lost her about two months ago to cancer. And, you know, my mom's a big Buckeye fan. She's a beautiful lady, big Buckeye fan. And uh, seeing her second son inducted into the Ohio State Athletic Hall of Fame would be a wonderful honor for her. And I just wish she was here to see it. But again, I want to thank the Barcio for selecting me as a member of the Hall of Fame because I truly feel that Ohio State's Hall of Fame is one of the best college Hall of Fames you can belong to, athletic Hall of Fames you can belong to because we have such a rich history and tradition of athletics and uh, to belong to this Hall of Fame is really something special. Also, I got a couple friends here that I have to uh, uh, introduce to you guys. I've got two good friends of mine from the Cincinnati Bengals, two teammates that are here tonight that I'd like to introduce. Both are great players and uh, great friends. Uh, Lewis Breed was a cornerback and my roommate as a Cincinnati Bengals. Go ahead and stand up, Louie. who was uh, number 85, he was a great wide receiver for Cincinnati. <laughs> Again, thank you all very much, and thank you guys for, looking and, uh, for selecting me as a member of the Ohio State Athletic Hall of Fame. Thank you.